today we will learn unit 1 modifying language using model verbs now just a recap that is to revise in the previous lecture we learnt the use of model verbs to express certainty and uncertainty for example we can use can when we are 100% sure we use can't when we are 100% sure that the thing is wrong we use could or might when we are not sure but it is possible or there is a possibility we also learned the use of can could may should might must and have to for expressing ability or our capabilities or talents the things we can do when we need permission or for rendering advice i would like you to remember this word rendering rendering means giving or offering a suggestion or suggestion we also use model verbs for obligation for the things that we must do or we or we have to do things that are not optional or compulsory or we do not have a choice number 5 we use model verbs in probability that means for the things that may or may not happen we also learnt to identify spell and pronounce some colors which are plum tangerine chocolate or not chocolate paprika cobalt scarlet sunflower lemon grass turquoise shamrock ivory marigold peacock the other words that we learnt or used were critique the person who criticizes a work or gives opinion which can be positive or negative the other word we learnt was numerous which means many and the last word we learnt was embellish that means using all these words to embellish or beautify our work now today's lesson is exercise 2 page number 6 we have to rewrite the sentences to make them less certain by using model verbs in brackets example swimming after a meal is dangerous that means swimming after a meal can be dangerous less certain for homework we have to rewrite the sentences to make them less certain by using the model verb in brackets for example swimming after a meal is dangerous and we studied that we can write it as swimming after a meal can be dangerous number 1 a visit to disneyland is expensive we have to use must number 2 cycling without a helmet is dangerous so we have to write or we have to use could we can write cycling without a helmet could be dangerous number 3 the plane is delayed please use may number 4 the shops are closed after 6 pm we have to use might he is not 14 years old please use cannot Fiona isn't in bed now we have to use won't it means will not this man is not the real thief we have to use may number 8 over exercise causes exhaustion that means tiredness or we get tired so we can write like this over exercise can cause exhaustion exercise 3 page number 7 model verbs can be used to express certainty and uncertainty in the past for example jack did not come to school today he might have been ill we are not certain or we are not sure 
but we think he might have been ill. Now before we do or we attempt the next exercise, we need to revise past perfect tense which we have already done. For example, I went to the garden this morning and noticed the flowers were missing. Not flower, but we say flower. So it is the flowers were missing. What could have happened? The possibilities are a rabbit must have eaten all my flowers or my neighbor could have stolen the flowers. Number three, the wind might have blown them away. Now what is the pattern in these sentences? The pattern is in green we have subject that is rabbit, neighbor or the wind and the model verbs we have used are must, could, might and then we have to use have. Finally we use the past participle that is the third form of the verb eaten, stolen, blown. So our sentence is a rabbit that is the subject model verb must have plus the past participle. Now your verb list that is the first form of the verb. The second form of the verb is simple past but in the past perfect we need to use the past participle that is the third form of the verb and that is why we had used eaten. Eat, ate, eaten. Steal, stole, stolen. Blow, blue, blown. So please go through these verb lists. There are three or four verb lists. These are the common verbs that we use and we need to know the present form, the past and the past participle. After reading these, please write them in your notebook as well. Now, we have to use exercise 3 on page 7 using all the things that we have learnt. We have to underline the model verbs expressing certainty and uncertainty. Miss Lee was late for work she might have missed the bus. We are not sure, but she might have missed it. Number two, Jim has not got a mobile phone. He cannot have phoned you. Number three, the pavements are all wet. It must have rained. What are pavements? Pavements are sidewalks or the sidewalk that we have along the roads for the pedestrians to walk on. Who are the pedestrians? The people who walk. The other work that we can learn here is the crosswalk. Now what is the crosswalk? These are the zebra crossings that people use to cross the road. Zebra, not zebra. Number four, it is dangerous to push other children like that you could have hurt someone. Number five, the baby woke up crying in the night. She must have had a bad dream. We are not sure. The baby could be thirsty. The baby could be hungry. But we think probably it was a bad dream. We need to underline the model verbs. Exercise four, page number seven and eight. We have to rewrite the sentences Take by taking the underlined parts that is less certain by using the model verbs in brackets in the past. Example, Fred works really hard. He did very well in the test. That means he must have worked really hard. Fred works really hard. He must have done very well in the test because he worked hard he must have done well in the test. Jack drove his sports car very fast. He had an accident. So we can write this sentence. He might have an accident. Number three, Julie has just left the house. 
she hasn't arrived at school yet. That means can't have. The key was in my pocket, but now it's gone. It fell out. That means something must have happened and we have to write must have. A recap. We have learned today that we write the subject, then we use the modal verb have and past participle that is the third form of the verb. We also learn some regular and irregular verbs from the verb lists. The new words that we have learnt are rendering, offering, exhaustion and pavements. Rendering advice, it means offering advice or giving advice. Exhaustion means tired. Pavements, these are the sidewalks along the road for pedestrians or for people to walk on. And our homework is do exercise 2 and 3 in your notebook. Number 2, learn and write the verb lists. Thank you.